It's a me, Mario. Today I'm making cocktails based on the game and the movie Super Mario Brothers on Dr. Cork. Mario is probably the most famous game character in the world, created by Shigeru Miyamoto of Nintendo over 40 years ago. Mario first appeared in the arcade game Donkey Kong back in 1981. In this game he was called Jumpman. But the most famous game with the character was the Super Mario Bros. in 1985, which came out on the Famicom game console. After that, a lot of games, comics, cartoons were released, and also a spectacularly bad feature film with Bob Hoskins. And a couple of weeks ago, the new animated movie about Mario and Luigi came out. By the way, quite decent and fun, me, my wife and our kid loved it. I am a bit of a fan of Mario, I even made a cap for myself, and the ringtone on my phone is... But of course, I'm far behind all those speedrunners who finish the game in 5 minutes. But I finished Cat Mario, that's probably some kind of achievement. <laughs> of course, in the children's game and in the movie, no one drinks alcohol, though mushrooms there are at every turn. Suspicious. So I chose cocktails based on the characters from the Super Mario universe. Hit like and let's begin. And the first cocktail we're gonna make is Piranha Plant Cocktail. I found it on glasgowfoodelicious.com. Piranha plants are large carnivorous plants with sharp teeth that emerge from pipes or other obstacles in the game, waiting for Mario or other characters to step on them and to eat them. The drink is not that dangerous, but looks a bit like a piranha plant, thanks to the garnish. The cocktail is shaken, and to the shaker we're gonna add vodka. One and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Mint liqueur or uh, creme de menthe, which is uh, see-through clear uh, mint liqueur, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna use the green one. One and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Juice of a lemon half, which is about two thirds of an ounce. Fill the shaker with ice. And shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Then we take a highball glass, put a big Collins sphere in the glass. If you want to know how to make it, you can check out my video about it. And fine strain the cocktail to the glass. And top up with tonic. And now let's quickly make the garnish. We take a strawberry and cut it like this to resemble a piranha plant. Then we take a cocktail straw and put our strawberry onto it. And garnish the cocktail. And this is how you make piranha plant. The next cocktail is called Mario. It is a simple and delicious cocktail, which I'm gonna make right now. I'm not gonna tell you who Mario is. I think if you're watching this video, you already know that. So, to the cocktail shaker, we're gonna add white rum, two ounces, 60 milliliters. Blue curacao liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Freshly squeezed orange juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Simple syrup, which is water and sugar one to one. 15 milliliters, half an ounce. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Then we take an old fashioned glass or you can use highball glass. Put a big ice ball in it and fine strain the cocktail. Now we have a blue Mario and we need a red hat. I'll use grenadine for this, but my grenadine is homemade, so it's not as red as the store-bought one. Also grenadine is syrup, so it will melt, but why not use it anyway? And garnish with a lemon wheel. And this is how you make Mario. The next cocktail is called Princess Peach, also known as Princess Toadstool. <laughs> I, like, I like that last name much more. She is a princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and the love interest for Mario. Her kingdom is often attacked by the Koopa King or Bowser and she often wears pink, so our cocktail will also be pink-ish. Princess Peach is also shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add peach liqueur, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Vodka, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Cranberry juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Orange juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters. And pineapple juice, also one ounce, 30 milliliters. 
Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Take the tulip glass, put a big ice chunk and fine strain the cocktail. And garnish with a candy peach ring. And this is how you make Princess Peach, also known as Princess Toadstool. And the last cocktail for today is the Koopa King, also known as Bowser. I found this recipe on the YouTube channel The Martini Shot. Bowser is the main villain of both the original 1985 game and the 2023 movie. He is a large, powerful, fire-breathing Koopa who leads the evil kingdom of turtle-like creatures. He has repeatedly kidnapped or attempted to kidnap Princess Peach with the ultimate goal of defeating Mario and taking over the Mushroom Kingdom. And then the world, of course! <laughs> so let's make our cocktail. It is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add dark rum, or in my case spiced rum, which will add uh, the complexity to the taste of this cocktail. One and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Then we need overproof rum. Uh, this one is 57% alcohol. It's gonna add more complexity to the taste. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Orange liqueur, in my case, triple sec. You can, you can use any orange liqueur, except for blue curacao. Don't use it. Three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. A little bit of Angus bitters, two dashes. Freshly squeezed lime juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters. But don't throw away the rind, we're gonna need it later. Pineapple juice, 22 milliliters, three quarters of an ounce. Mango juice, three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. Tabasco sauce, two dashes, because it's Bowser, he breathes fire. And last but not least, simple syrup, which is sugar and water. Three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. And the last thing we're gonna need is a cinnamon stick. You can use just uh, cinnamon syrup instead of simple syrup, but I prefer it this way. Just break it and put it in the shaker. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating this shake to this comment. Then we take a highball glass, fill it with ice and fine strain the cocktail. Then we take a couple of chili peppers and use them as a garnish. Do you remember the rind that we saved? We're gonna use it too. Put a little sugar cube on top, soak it in a little bit of overproof rum, turn off the light and fire it up. And this is how you make Bowser, also known as the Koopa King. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to my Instagram or other social networks that you'll find. All the recipes are on my website, dr-cork.com. Link is in the description to this video. And you can also subscribe to my Patreon if you want to support my channel. Thank you very much. Drink responsibly and as always, dosidos.